second. Alright, here we go. Third. Okay, let's go three cannon. I'm going to grab my wrist. Okay, here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Nice straddle. Okay, let's talk about falls. Okay, elbows in. Okay, worst fall is, of course, coming back over this way. Okay? If you feel like she's coming back over this way, bring your hips up, support it a little bit here, so that at least you have some of the support. The flyer, there's so little the base can do once you're over here. Once your wrists are above your shoulders coming over, head over heels, it's all the flyer. You can catch your hips a little to take some of the weight, but she has to let go of my wrist, brace that fall, so she can support some of it, and then my legs are supporting some of it. So between your legs as a base and her hands, you'll be able to base spot a little bit, but okay. primarily it's the fly being able to react and not just fall on their head, letting go of her bound, her binds, and then bracing the fall. And I see this often too, because I've taught you to bring your feet down, right? Yes and no. For 90% of the stuff, it makes sense to bring your feet down first. For this one, when your weight is already coming over this way and you're inverted this way, right? Let's say here. Let's say you're here and, it, and you're coming over this way, you're falling back this way, and then you bring your legs down this way. As you're falling back over, it's a weird thing. Yeah. It's like you're, you're already falling, like it might be even easier to do a back bend because your feet, because bringing your feet down as you're falling this way takes longer <laughs> than just doing a back bend over. So in this scenario, the bringing the feet down pike this way may take longer than it would be with the momentum just to back bend over. So that's why I say don't even back try to twist out, bring like let go of those binds of your wrist, bring your hands on the mat, do a supported handstand out. The best way to fall out of that versus um, trying to pike your feet down this way, okay? Okay, um, let's do the points. Okay, bird Sammy. Okay. She's gonna grab my wrist. Thumbs up, right? So not yes, right. So thumbs yeah. are on top. We're gonna feed the shoulders in. One thing I can do with that to help is to ease off the gas here. It drops her in. Watch out for these thumbs here, that hurts. Cup over. And if she brings her elbows slightly in a little more, I think that'll give her a little more strength. Cupping. This is pretty good. Watch out for going too close to the neck. Just enough space is good here. Ease off the gas, and you can slowly use those toes to tip her up slowly, and she's going to go ahead and straddle wide. It's a lot easier to balance this than to do the pike. Okay? So here, once we have this, just keep the toes there as long as you need. And you can slowly take one foot off and take another foot off. Remember the wrists. Keep them above your shoulders. Never, never beyond here. Keep them right above. And we want to go to this transition. <laughs> we want to be able to drop gently back into folded leaf for the next transition. Okay? So you saw how I dropped it really fast. That could happen, yeah. but with the feet, that's not too bad. Okay. So when you drop it, we'll do a nice and controlled into a, a transition. Yeah. Okay? okay. Points here. Grab the thumbs up. Ideally, later when the fly gets more and more advanced, I'll teach you a grip where she's bring her fingers down and actually supporting some of her weight. But for now, let's just do this grab. Okay. This at least gives you some support. Okay? And it's easier to grab that way too. We'll feed the shoulders in. Remember, try to avoid the clavicle. Go around, not too close, out. The flyer's elbows are in a bit. She comes into a straddle. It's a lot easier to balance. I'm gonna use my toes to guide. My hips come up a little and over. Deeper straddle pike. There it is. And then from there, I keep my toes on. I can take one toe off, bounce them back and forth. And then when you run, you can slowly, gently guide her over a little further. Once she's there, and your arms are locked, you'll be able to balance her. But keep your feet here. Don't bring them to the ground yet. Keep them up and into forward leaf position in case she falls back this way, or even in case she falls over this way, you can yeah. support some of it. You can keep pushing, catch them, she's gonna let go of the hands, brace her fall. And once she's here, it's light. You have some of the weight here. She's doing an assisted handstand and she can twist out if she falls, okay? Let's do it with the spot first. Okay. 